Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick session on OPJR, online portal for joining and registration. This is only for if you are going to join an All India Round 3 seat. If you are not joining an All India Round 3 seat, ignore it. Already joined an All India Round 2 seat, retained it. No issues. This is not going to be relevant for you because you have already completed your OPJR. If you want to continue, you can continue. If you are joining an All India Round 3 seat and that All India Round 3 seat is a DNB or NB diploma seat, this is a new seat, then there is something to be done which is called OPJR. But first things first, Intra MCC is your admission portal. This is the critical part. Very, very critical. So you need to ensure that everything is done in Intra MCC before that paying the fee to NBE through OPJR and completing and getting the intra MCC admission letter. This is the primary thing that needs to be done. OPJR is a secondary process which can be completed later to October 6th. Get your intra MCC admission letter. Let us say OPJR doesn't function. You are not able to pay the fee. Somehow get your intra MCC admission letter. Everything else can be done later. So with that we start this entire thing. So in addition to whatever you do which is document upload in MCC, you would have done a document upload and then got your intra MCC admission letter after payment of fee etc. This is an additional process which is between NBE and you. Usually this process happens after a month or two after your joining. After the entire joining till last year, within a month or so they will start this process and then ask everyone to submit the annex chairs etc. Now they are doing it during the joining itself. Uh, has not been very successful. But uh, we love to go with what they are doing. So, OPJR is for whom? All India Round 3. You have been allotted a fresh seat or an upgraded seat and it is an DNB or NBE diploma seat. Only then this is relevant. If you are an MDMS candidate, nothing to be done. If you are not going to join this seat, nothing to be done. If you are going to join the seat, then you watch this video. This is the portal. The link for the portal is mentioned over here. You will also have it in your... Uh, uh, in your... Uh, 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 note, uh, the letter, allotment letter that you have, enter your state, hospital name, your email ID, mobile registered numbers and your roll number, date of birth, you will clearly, it will, when once you submit, it will take you to the next page. Last time there was uh, in round two, there were huge issues. Many were not able to log in, OPJR did not work, etc. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, don't need to worry about it. Only thing that you will need to do is complete this process in OPJR. How does OPJR, what are the processes that need to be completed? Basic details, photo and signature, this you will uh, check and confirm. Your declaration, you will provide a declaration, you will check your allotment deltas. Documents have to be uploaded. There are five documents or so which have to be uploaded. Course fee has to be paid. This is an important criteria which has to be done within OPJR. Last time what happened, OPJR was not functioning. So many candidates were able to join even without fee payment because it was critical that intra MCC admission be done. So even if this is an issue, institutes have been instructed to allow, but you can check with the institute and then take a call. And then there is a live picture at the institute that you need to take for the in, from the institute side. So this is the institute side, not the candidate side in the institute portal, but you have to do it basically. You have to be there for the live picture. So we have mentioned it over here. This is for OPJR, but the intra MCC admission letter again is primary, OPJR is secondary. If you complete this, your admission is confirmed, you will be part of the data sent to MCC finally for admission. So that is very clear, right? OPJR, these are the processes. Note that these are the processes. We will let you know what are the documents that are required to be uploaded, your MBBS degree, permanent registration certificate. Uh, if you have a provisional, you can upload that as well, no issues, they are accepting internship completion certificate and a valid identity certificate, any one of these. The status of recognition of MBBS Institute as per NMC website, go to, where do you get it? In nmc.org.in, under college and course search, you will find this. How do you, or where can you find it? Under Zyner, you go to videos and search for NMC. You will see how to get an NMC recognition certificate. It is a simple printout from the NMC page which mentions that your college has been recognized for MBBS from this batch to this batch or from this particular year and that is a certificate that needs to be uploaded. If you are an FMGE candidate, when you went ahead with your uh, 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 course, FM foreign medical course, 
you would have got an eligibility certificate from MCC highly likely that can be submitted if not to submit some certificate if you don't have a certificate because if you passed out in 2013 that is fine issues that usually happen if you are upgraded let us say all India round 2 you joined a uh, joined or exited did not join a NBE institute DNB or MDM uh, NBE diploma institute now in all India round 3 when you again go and join a DNB or NBE institute unless this part is closed where you did not join or you joined and resigned or you uh, uh, or you joined and continued but OBJR is not at complete unless this is closed this cannot be done so basically here the institute earlier institute has to enter this person left resigned or upgraded or might did not report at all so that needs to be updated in the joint record so in case you are not able to do anything here and you get this message as per NBMS records your joining status is yet to be up, has to be updated in the previous hospital you can proceed with joining only after the updation if this message comes up you contact your all india round 2 institute or in case your all india round 1 institute is your last allotted nbe seat whichever is your last allotted nbe seat contact them and ask them to update the details what do they update they will update the status as left resigned upgraded or not reported that is enough and then you will be able to see the details in the system and use it in case you retained your round one or round two seat again in round three okay basically some would have free ex uh, free exited this round one seat now got it in round three not joined a round two seat the same seat and then got the same seat once again by filling it in round 3. In that case, system will still continue to show R1 or R2 only. This is what it has been. Many candidates are aware of this uh, who have done it last time. So even if it shows R1 and R2, it is the same seat you got in R3, right? Go ahead and make the fee payment, continue with everything, not an issue. Last time many candidates have done this and uh, institutes were also uh, okay with that. So go ahead and do it. So basically what we are saying is if you are round 3 seat, is the same as any one uh, round two or an earlier round one seat which is the last dnb seat that you got and but it is still updated saying that it is the same seat go ahead and complete the process don't need to worry that it still shows round one opjr is not working fee payment if you have already done to dnb like 1.25 lakhs you have that receipt right that is enough everything else is in intra mcc only opjr can be managed later in case you have not done all india round 3 first time i am getting a dnb seat opjr is not working at all go to the institute check with the institute institutes are flexible because they know that there is an issue get your intra mcc admission done opjr fee payment can be taken care of later many all, almost all the candidates who are there have been able to do this in these are all what the candidate has to do as far as opjr is concerned from your login now what does the institute have to do institute has a set of processes etc they will also verify what you have uploaded but main part is live picture where you have to be present obviously and don't leave the institute for a few days without completing this in case they wish to complete it uh, you can also do that at a later point in time if institute is okay finally opjr can be managed later very few institutes can be create a problem saying i'll complete opjr then only i'll give you my intra mcc admission letter this is this usually doesn't happen very few institutes have it but it is not a requirement you can complete your intra mcc thing only problem may be if you are not able to make your fee payment even then you can raise a query in nba communications portal and they may allow you by the response saying okay please go ahead with the admission you can complete opjr again so this is the entire process it is a very minor process uh, uh, this is the max that one can help out with if, if opjr is no, not working even nbe is not helping so uh, any calls to us or any calls to um, nbe the nbe does not respond mcc no way they respond on opjr no point wait for opjr to work or check in a groups asking whether opjr works beyond that there is no point in calling up anyone opjr is not a necessity intra mcc admission letter is a necessity get that completed but one thing we will suggest is when the fee payment is open in OPJR, take a quick decision and make the fee payment. That is something that we will strongly suggest because once that is done, nobody can refuse you the intra MCC admission letter even just because OPJR is not there. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, our other sessions on what to do for All India Round 3 is also available. You can just have a look at it. Thank you and all the best.